Martini? Dirty, isn't it? It's on the house. Oh, am I not pathetic? Mm. Could have happened to anyone. You made a mistake. Yeah, well, it seems like I've turned that into a work of art. But you know what? I will take you up on that offer. And how did you know my drink? You remember? I just. Dirty Martini. Hey, you read my mind? Not really. This one's for the lady. Oh, I see. Uh, would you make me one? As soon as I grab a fresh bottle of vodka? Uh, you can have mine, if you'd like, mister. Uh, Kinsey. Michael, Kinsey. <laughs> you say that like you have a license to kill or something. <sighs> Mr. Kinsey. Michael Kinsey. Well, um, I don't, so I guess you'll just have to call me Michael. Okay, Michael. Well, I'm Kendall. Kendall Hart. Doesn't look like you're enjoying Aspen. Why do you say that? Well, you seem a little, uh, you know, distracted. Missing someone. Oh, no, no, that, that was silly. I, I just, I saw somebody from the back and he reminded me of, uh, of a friend. Ah, uh, a friend. Yes, yeah, a friend. Um, his name's Aiden, and I haven't seen him in a while. Well, I don't think I like this Aiden. Not if it makes you feel sad. I'm not bad. I, I'm not, actually, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing damn good. This was one of my best days ever. Thanks for waiting. 30 a.m. coming up. Uh, you know what? Wait a minute. Here, why don't you um, take mine? I haven't touched it, and I, I really should go. Oh, I've, I've made you uncomfortable. I'm... No, no, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, then stay. I would really like to hear about your great day. Please. I've never really been driven. I mean, not professionally, anyway. But then I had this this idea, and it just took hold of me. Well, it's one thing to have an idea, but it's another to make it happen, that's for sure. Well, to be honest, it really wasn't that hard. I mean, I found myself a partner. I got a building and some startup cash, and then, boom, there it was, and here I am. It's kind of a mystery how it all came together. Oh, it's no mystery. You love it. Of course, the infusion is just getting off the ground, so I must seem incredibly naive to you. <laughs> Why? Well, because to someone like you, one little company must mean nothing. Someone like me? We just met. Yeah, but you said you, you import luxury goods, that you spend most of your time in Europe. You're incredibly successful. I never said I was successful. Okay, you know what? The shoes you're wearing, they cost more than my first car. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. I, I know. I know it's, it's rude to notice people's things. Where on earth did you learn that? I don't know. Masterpiece theater. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, uh, I like it when people notice my shoes. So wh what are you doing in Aspen? Is it business? Oh. Oh, excuse me. I have to take this. Don't go away. I won't be long. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea I'd be gone so long. Oh, that's, that's okay. Thank you for coming back. Uh, I have to go. Oh, must you? I was hoping we could uh, have dinner together. Oh, I'm not here by myself. I'm taking care of a ten-year-old. <laughs> I think he's about ready for some nighttime snowboarding. You know, the lodge provides that for kids. Totally supervised. Oh. Really? Mm hmm Huh. Oh. Once Petey finds out he can be on the slopes, I couldn't stop him if I tried. Best place for him. I hope this means you'll uh, join me for dinner. You know what? I would love to have dinner with you. Great. Well, I'm going to have to get Petey settled before we go. Of course, of course. Uh, don't rush. I'll meet you at the restaurant. It is uh, three doors down, literally. It's called uh, Seraglio. Okay. Great. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Please, please. Let me. Okay. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Of course. I don't know if I should do this. Do what? Have dinner? 
Well, I mean, we just met in a bar. I, I don't know if this is really a good idea. Well, if you want to bring the boy along. Oh, God, no. What? It would serve you right just for suggesting it. <laughs> well, I would gladly put up with spitballs and video games if that is what it takes. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Okay, here's the plan. Hmm. We will have a nice, quiet dinner, and then we will say goodnight. Sounds perfect. Great. Good. Well, then I'll see you in half an hour, Mr. Kinsey. Michael. Michael. Thank you, Mr. Cambius. You're welcome. Good evening. Uh, I'm looking for Mr. Kimsey. Oh, uh, yes. Right this way, please. Thank you. <laughs> Spectacular. Thank you. Thank you for this. Of course, sir. Yeah. We'll see. <clears throat> the wine list, Mr. Kinsey? Oh, uh, Lisa told me that you had two bottles of uh, Pomerie 73. Ah, oh, the special stock. Of course. This, this is, this is lovely. Oh. Very old world. <laughs> has an understated elegance. It suits you. Oh, I hope you don't mind. The uh, chef is an old friend of mine, an Austrian. He insisted on making us a special dinner. Um, I'm sure if you're uh, not a vegetarian, that you'll be very pleased. Oh, I am. Pleased. No, I'm not, not, not a vegetarian. <laughs> Are you uh, comfortable? Yeah. Uh... Why do I do I look nervous? <laughs> a bit. Well, I'm a little overwhelmed. So am I. And of course, Marbella is spoiled forever. No, oh, this is German tourists again. Well, luckily, <laughs> what are you gonna do with them? Luckily, I discovered a forgotten island, Dorotea, southwest of Ibiza. Ibiza. Well, if I am very lucky, it should remain a secret for another year or so. It has the best parasailing in the Mediterranean. Oh, my God, Michael, it's a wonder you even find time to work. Oh, well, I work very hard. It's just I learned to work to live. I don't know the other way around. So what are you doing in Aspen? Are you working or living? Uh, one of my uh, distributors has a warehouse nearby, so I fly in two or three times a year. Have you ever been here in the spring? It's a completely different place. No, I haven't. I'm, I'm not really much of a traveler. By choice? Not exactly. So it's a matter of uh, circumstance rather than desire. You, you're, you're not limited at all. I mean, you, you discovered a secret island south of Abita. I grew up downwind of a swamp in Florida. Oh, I'm just your... Basic salesman, Kendall. No. There's nothing basic about you. Well, nor about you. But nothing can convince me that you wouldn't feel right at home among the finest things that the world has to offer. child, I, I remember feeling special. And, and not because anybody made me feel that way, but because... Oh, go on. I felt... I felt like... I felt like there was a better place I was supposed to be living <laughs> someplace else. And, and I felt like if I just held on, I would get there. And I would be who I was supposed to be all along. Well, maybe you're already there. You know, I, I think I would have noticed. Oh. Oh. The woman who uh, enchanted me this evening, the woman who 
graciously consented to be my dinner guest is, without question, one of the most extraordinary women I've ever met. I have a feeling that that's saying something. I, I, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but um, you are very special. You've certainly made me feel that way. Tell me how long uh, you'll be here in Aspen. I'm not sure. How long will you? I, uh, I leave early tomorrow. I have a meeting in Singapore that can't be rescheduled. Yes, life moves on. I, sh I should get back to PD soon. so strange. It is? Uh, an evening like this, it's something that happens only in books. Meeting someone with whom you're instantly comfortable. If I weren't going to Singapore tomorrow... Uh... No, let, let's, let's not say anything else. Thank you so much for dinner. It was truly my pleasure. Child? Yes, yes, yeah, I, I, what, what happened? An orgy. A what? An orgy of pizza and ice cream with a dozen sugar shock ten-year-olds. And this one is the re-ringleader. I don't know what happened. Everything went black. 